Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we are doing yet again another drugstore makeup tutorial. Today though, we are doing a one brand tutorial full face of only Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild has to be probably one of my favorite affordable slash drugstore brands. They've stepped up their game within the past like two, three years so much. They've improved their quality, packaging, just everything in general. I think Wet n Wild has been amazing. P.S. They do have a new collection out. Yes, I am looking for it. I know I haven't found it. So as soon as I find it at my local Walmart, that's my dog barking. As soon as I do find it though, you guys know I will bring you guys a full beats and full review. So with that said, today we're just going to be playing around with some makeup so we can sit in our living room because literally that is the only thing there is to do nowadays. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Grab a coffee, grab a glass of wine, a little beer, whatever it is you guys want. I have my water bottle because that's all I can drink. <laughs> and let's go ahead and get glam together. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I am gonna start with my base today because I wanna go for a very natural makeup look. I know that I've been doing very colorful, bright and bold looks, which I know you guys totally love and I really appreciate you guys' feedback when you tell me that you love a bold and colorful looks because literally that is my inner soul, bold and bright. <laughs> but today I just wanted to tone it down because I want to add a really fun lip color. I know that I don't play with lip colors that often anymore. I used to it and then I don't know what happened, but today we are gonna go all out with the lips. So let's get the base started. Now some of these products are new and by new, I mean uh, new to me, maybe not new to you guys, but I just never really tried these. So the first product we're gonna go in with is our primer. Obviously this is the Photo Focus Water Drop primer in the scent rose so this is supposed to lock down moisture it hydrates and it blurs the appearance of pores it's like this revolutionary cream to water formula so let's see let's see what's the deal here i've honestly never really been a fan of like their primers but i have never tried this one so i might just be eating my words today are these not the cutest earrings you've ever seen butterflies are like so trendy this year if you guys are interested in these earrings i bought them from rue 21 i just placed an order with them um so i will link them down below in case you guys are also butterfly lovers like me <laughs> Okay, that feels pretty hydrating. I don't really see the pore minimizing thing, but we're just gonna, we're gonna keep the flow going. So for foundation, obviously you guys know which one I am going to be using. The Wet n Wild Dewy Photo Focus Foundation. I have three shades. I don't remember which one is my shade. So we're gonna have to play around with the colors, mix them, create our little concoction. I have the shade Golden Beige Hazelnut, which I know is too dark, but it might work to deepen up the other shades and then we also have cream beige this has to be one of the best drugstore foundations at the drugstore because it is full coverage it is nice and dewy and it's not heavy it's super lightweight and very long wearing so let's see what shade we go in with okay this one's definitely it right i don't know what if we just take a mix of all three and just like call it a day. Okay, I'm just gonna do that just for the fun of it. Ooh, okay. This is actually like a really good match for me right now. I would love to know what is your favorite drugstore foundation? What is the one foundation that you just cannot live without that you have repurchased over and over and over again? I think, I don't know actually. I don't really repurchase foundations because I have way too many but this one is definitely one of my like top five maybe top 10 foundations I really wanted to take this makeup tutorial to the next level I rarely ever do any cream contouring so we're gonna play with it today just because I actually haven't tried these little contour sticks and I'm really curious to see how they work this is just the contour stick in the shade call me maple it's a really pretty rich brown so we're just going to use this to kind of like bronze up the skin before we lay down the powder so i'm going to apply that Ooh, these are really creamy 
gonna bring that five head to more of a four head. <laughs> I'm also going to bring that down to the sides of the nose. Because you guys know that I always gotta snatch my nose and then, oh, there's a hair right here. Then I'm also gonna bring that to the jawline. Just like that, because the skin is so like dewy, I am going to just go in with my concealer this is the photo focus concealer in the shade medium tawny i think this is one of the very few concealers that's when wild has that are actually really good quality this is super full coverage i just wish they had better shades but the formula they got it down wow i am really impressed with this like i said never tried it before and the creaminess on it is really nice so now i'm going to go back with my beauty blender i'm just going to take this side that is not so dirty and we're going to start by blending the contour first since that's kind of been sitting on the skin for a minute now wow this color is really really pretty i am gonna look tan today like i actually got some sun For my setting powder, I am going to take the shade Banana. This one is really good if you guys are my skin tone or even deeper. This actually works better in deeper skin tones. I do notice that it does leave me a slight like yellow cast. So I might have to pick up a new shade and try that out. I'm just going to set this everywhere where I applied my concealer. We're going to let that bake for just a few minutes because I did use... Um, such a dewy foundation, a dewy primer, and then on top of that we added a cream contour. I want to make sure that my skin is ni uh, nice and mattified. <gasps> Can't she talk today? This is the uh, What Shady Beaches bronzer. This is the Color Icon line. I have other bronzers, but this one is the deepest one that I had and... I actually, well, I didn't have this one. I had to buy it because I didn't have a dark enough shade. I'm just going to go in with my Laura Mercier brush. And I'm going to set the areas where we applied the cream bronzer just so we don't get um, oily or anything like that. <laughs> now we're going to go in with the blushes. These, I didn't own either. I don't know how new these are. But I picked up two shades from my local CVS. I picked up the shade Pearl Less and Pink and Mellow Wine. Um, oh, it says new look. So maybe they're just like a revamped version of their old packaging. I'm not sure. But this one is a little bit more peachy tone. And this one is a little more on the wine shade. Wine shade. Wine side. So I'm going to go in with the shade Pearl Less and Pink first. This is definitely more of a sheer blush. I mean, it's there, but they're not crazy pigmented, which is okay because I'd rather have more of a sheer blush and like build it up than have like a big old patch of blush on my face and then have no idea how to fix it. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of, or a little bit of the Mellow Wine. This one is more matte. This one has a little bit of like sparkles in it, very little, but you can definitely see it with the naked eye. And I'm just going to apply that as well. Oh, this one's pretty. She's blushing. For my highlighter today, I wanted to use this one because this is actually my all-time favorite highlighter from Wet n Wild. And we're going to use a Wet n Wild brush. Yay! This is the Hustle and Glow Um powder highlighter these are so intense you guys if you love intense highlighters like me these are your go-to i'm going to start off with this shade um which is one of the deepest like nude browns and it's this one right here i'm going to take that and apply it in the outer corner of the eye i'm not going to bring this in too much because i don't want to create anything like intense And then I'm going to uh, use a clean brush to just kind of blend the edges. 
Now I'm going to dig into this shade right here, which is a softer version of this. And I'm going to throw that into the crease to just help me further blend the shade that we just laid down. Then just to diffuse everything together, I am taking the really pretty peach shade in the palette, which is this one. It's just a light, light apricot shade. And I'm going to take it on a big fluffy brush like this. This is the Morphe M441. And again, I'm just going to diffuse the edges, just adding a little more orange into the crease or to the, yeah, into the crease just right here. And I am bringing this out just a tad bit. And I'm going to go back with my ColourPop small brush and I'm going to dig into this brown shade right here. I'm only going to take a very, very small amount. This is very pigmented, so just tap off the excess. And I'm only going to apply it right here. Just to create a little depth into the eyes. And then I'm going to bring it in as if I was using it as an eyeliner. Now I'm going to go in with my little brush and just do a quick little cut crease. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't even have to do a cut crease if you don't want to. But I feel like it just looks a little more clean. I'm going to take this shade, this shade right here, which is a light, like, like a sand. Yeah, like a sand color. And I'm just going to apply that. Oh, that's pretty. Then I'm going to go, excuse me, I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to pick up this shade right here, which is a like neon color and I'm going to add that as a pop of color and then I'm going to pick up a little bit of the orange shade just so it doesn't look so like flat Ooh, and it's going to make it pop I like that I am going to do a wing liner today because I wanted to try out their eyeliner. I've never tried it before. So this is their H2O proof eyeliner. And we're just going to do a cute little wing. All right, you guys. And for the pop of color on the lips, it's going to be a very hot, very summer-ish lip color. This is the shade Flame of the Game. And obviously it's by Wet n Wild. This is their liquid catsuit liquid lipstick. I just realized I was wearing this shirt wrong the entire time. No wonder it felt a little bit uncomfortable because it's actually an off the shoulder shirt. So this is the final look you guys. This is my take on a hot summer day pool side makeup look um i really hope you guys enjoyed this one brand tutorial using only wet and wild i actually really like the way this look turned out it's like the eyes are still kind of simple but the look or the lip is just what really brings this whole look together so thank you guys so much for joining me today i hope you guys enjoy this makeup look i hope as always you guys recreate it and i would love to know if you guys have tried any of these products if so what are your thoughts i would love to hear your feedback in the comment section down below if you guys are new to my channel hi hola my name is karina also known as omg lashes here on youtube and i would love for you to be part of my family you can do that by hitting that subscribe button and if you are already subscribed don't forget to turn on your little bell notification so you never miss any of my videos i do upload three times a week makeup monday uh wednesday and then friday so thank you guys for joining me today i love you all so much be safe and i'll see you in my next video